the beautiful beaches of Malibu, where they've had a bit of a drought. The Whitecaps themselves have had a drought in Southern California, taking only five of a possible 33 points all time. They'll try to get that right when they play in Carson tonight. Morelos has a tight hamstring. He is in the 18. He is on the bench. Look for him to make an impact later. But Darren Mattix and Mosquito, the way they combine, is going to be important. Omar Salgado gets into the lineup. Some very interesting intel on Omar Perry Salkowski. Press has been magnificent. 14 goals this season. 14 goals in 14 games. That's even more impressive. Felix Boyer comes in. It's a debut man for him. And he comes in to try and get goals to help Torres. Will be the GOATs to kick off here as they try to turn around a four-game losing streak, get a goal after three clean sheets against the Whitecaps trying to maintain this five-game unbeaten streak. Beautiful evening, too, in Carson. Long ball forward for uh, Borja, who did a good job winning the header. Andy O'Brien clears only as far as the Ecuadorian. And then at the edge of the penalty area looking for Torres. Oh, and Andy O'Brien's lost to Torres! And there was David Osted. And the first really good chance for Chivas USA. A bit of a gift, and you would have expected that Torres might have buried it there, right in the heart of the Whitecap penalty area. Decent looking ball, headed on by Salgado! Big save by Kennedy! And that's one of the better corners we've seen this season beyond the Carlisle Mitchell goal against Chivas at home. The Whitecaps take the second one quickly here. Fernandez slams it in. Little back heel by Maddox, but it's hammered into midfield for Stephen Betisher. Two-man wall. Perhaps a temptation to smash it towards the far post, but I think more likely fizzed across. And the Whitecaps looking for a boot to get on the end of this. Fernandez hammers it. Took a deflection, and that'll be a corner. Oh, no, it's not. It didn't go off a Goats player last. No, the uh, referee assistant saw it the way I did. It will be a white cap corner. As here is Rosales with a free kick. Up goes David Osted, and before he even got to it, there was a foul. So Barrera about to come on for Avila. Fernandez, he's got her tato ahead of him. As the tricky number seven cuts infield. Salgado, central. Got away. Can he shape up for a shot? Can! And it's off the side netting. Did it take a deflection first? It did not. And here comes the Chivas substitution. He did well to hold and picks out Baptiste. Zip, uh, zips it forward, but Leverone couldn't keep possession. And now Rosales for Kaji. Teasing ball into the area. There's Torres, and that was a good look. A good ball in. And David Ostet well positioned. Well, we talked about the strength that the Chivas have from wide areas, and boy, it's a fantastic ball. And finally, you actually got forward a little bit more, the fullbacks a little bit more forward. You can develop those overlaps now. You've got the players that you need to do it. But I mean, it's a great ball, and you can just see defensively, he just opens it up. Pereira running infield, tried to pick out Borja. Torres turns, plays in Rosales, sends it through. Osted from the feet. Oh, and a chance for Torres, smashed wide. And he looked to the heavens as he snatched at it, and that might have been Chivas' best chance. And it came with 15 or so minutes left. Well, it is their best chance, and you can see the wide area just opened up again. What I want you to watch here, though, is David Osted's reactions. You can see right away, his wall is he's, he's, he's excellent with his feet. Just gets it out, and obviously it's a force again to Torres, who's not at the best of evenings, but originally Leveron just kind of misplaced the, uh, his positioning. Throw along the far touch line. Great ball across the park, back to Kakutamane. Runs infield. He'll have a smash and puts it just over. Everybody on the Whitecaps bench hopped off their feet. But it's a goal kick to our left after Mane put it over the bar. Well, it's been very influential since the Whitecaps way since they've come on. Both Mane and Morales have done a lot of work and switches the play really well, picks up the ball again. That's what's happening a lot in this game. We saw it earlier with Sebastian Fernandez. A lot of the times the Whitecaps have got the ball in space. They've looked up. They haven't really had an outlet to be able to have a go and play in passive moves. They've had to take it their chances. And Finley will come on in just a moment here, but first the Whitecaps will get this free kick opportunity, and it's about 28 yards and a half from goal, 80th minute. Will Morales go for goal against a four-man wall? As the Chilean Maestro steps up, crashes it, and on target, but right into the bread basket of Dan Kennedy, who read it very well. Very well to shield off. He's going to have to play it. 
slams it into midfield for Rosales, and that is the final whistle. The Whitecaps took two of nine possible against Chivas USA, a team rooted in the western basement. It'll be a disappointing result for Carl Robinson. Wilmer Cabrera can't be all that happy about it either. We knew what we were getting into, Christian Jack, but I think uh, many fans in Vancouver will be disappointed it turned out the way we thought it might. Well, it was a Chivas team who didn't want to give away anything. You can 